yes good morning dear farmers let me hope everybody is okay um i gave you a list that we are going to follow when we are doing goat farming i really need people to know um the whole content of goat farming and the business in goat farming uh today i'm talking about the second bullet which states that uh, which system am i going to use when i'm doing goat farming you know after knowing why do i have to go for the goat farming and its profitability uh, you really need to know um which system am i going to use uh we do have three systems and that is semi-intensive um there is intensive and free range let me start with free range free range would be the best uh just because um you don't need to plant anything and that needs for people who have land they have an advantage you just let your goat go uh your role is to uh, at least build a good house then after building a good house you manage well you look after the goats very well so for that case you need a herdsman that can really follow up your goats go to the field harvest and then they come back uh for another system uh, actually for that system it would be the best you can have over 1000 or 2000 animals uh, and you're not supplementing any feeds over them so for another issue is semi-intensive semi-intensive is when you can let some goats go actually let's say in the morning they go for feeding and then in the evening they come back and you supplement so that one needs you to plant some grasses and then even um uh, having some grasses and then you take them for for the fields sometimes uh, for that case if you're doing semi-intensive um an acre can even accommodate up to 40 goats if you have an acre and another acre you left it for browsing they go browse and then come back you feed them the plants that you already grown all the pastures that you grown on one acre so that means on an acre or maybe uh, on an acre the grasses that can come out of that one acre and you're doing semi-intensive you can um, have 40 goats per acre so that means if you have two acres one for planting pastures another one for browsing and also settlement you will have over uh, 40 goats per acre that means if you have two acres that means that is over 80 goats so i'll talk about also zero grazing zero grazing that is when an animal is not allowed to go to any field you're supposed to stay in one place go in an exercising area enjoy you can even put there the ladders where the animals can really enjoy so for that issue um if you plant an acre let's say you're planting for silage uh, that an acre can produce up to 15 tons of, of, of the feeds of the silage of which an animal can really take maximum two kgs so that means on an acre uh, you can produce feeds that can feed up to um up to 80 or 104 goats from an acre so that means if you're doing zero grazing even if you have a very little land or small land let's say you have two acres one acre is for planting and one acre planting maize then half an acre you can plant chorus guyana and then you also plant uh, the fodder trees the legumes that can really uh, supplement on the protein so that means on an acre you can have even up to 104 goats it depends on how your grasses are coming up so those are the three systems that you can really do and uh, I think we shall know which one is the best actually um, in terms of costs free range would be the best uh, semi intensive follows but the zero grazing is slightly expensive but the animals which stays on zero grazing they attain more weight as compared to the rest of others though for them they need the cost of investment will be much higher so thank you very much and uh, i wish you the best i think we shall break up some other things very well um good evening for now i'm coming up for another third bullet thank you